Hey YouTube, West Texas Prepper, bringing you the second video on the emergency candles. What I'm doing uh, today, since it's a little rainy outside, <clears throat> have some free time, I'm going to go in here and prep most of my jars so I can get ready to do the wax pouring a little bit later on. And let me show you what I'm doing here to get my jars prepped. What I've actually done, and this is based on uh, a comment that I saw somebody make on the ladies video that originally did these is they said to go in and put a little hot glue on the bottom of the tab and then glue it down in the bottom of your jar right in the middle and, and these are stiff enough that you can just drip them back in there this uh, this wicks been a little bit because what I did I was just trying that out and I folded it over to stick in here and that won't be happening on the other ones it'll be um, good and straight and I'll show you what I'm going to do about that um, but you just glue those down in the bottom and once you pour the wax in there it'll help seal that up and keep it in there and that way it stays centered when you're pouring that and you don't have that floating around I saw uh, different people doing different things as far as how they take care of their wicks uh, people were using foil and I said man I didn't want to go in and, and waste all that good foil and so what I did I just bought these uh, extra large tongue depressor craft sticks at Hobby Lobby and what I did is I went and found a drill bit that was just a little bit larger than the wick and went in and I will go in and drill a hole in the middle of those and then what will happen is hang on a second well if I can see if I can do this here one hand I don't have my tripod what I did here is went at the house. Drill a hole in the middle of that and what this allow me to do is then I can take my wick over to the side get it out of the way I can go in and pour my wax and then once I get my wax poured that I can go in here and center up my wick over the center of my candle and this also gives me a good guide as to where to go in and turn my wick I'll just go in here with a utility knife and cut it off right there and that'll be long enough I haven't decided on how high I'm going to pour the wax I will probably go in and wind up pouring it right up to this lip and then what I'm also going to do on all of these candles is I'm going to go in and take a book of matches and put a book of matches inside the candle itself. So no matter where these are, you don't have to worry about having matches with them. There will be a book of matches sealed up inside of that. One thing I'm also going to do, I do have a food sealer with a jar attachment. Uh, when I get ready to go in and seal these up and put these on, I am going to go in there and seal it, make them airtight, screw the lids down. And that way I know moisture won't get in there and affect those matches and, and cause problems there. And that way we'll always have some emergency candles on, on hand. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to get some of these done. We've got the hot glue gun plugged in, uh, letting it get going. It's uh, starting to drip a little bit, so we're looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of these cans prepped. So stay tuned and I'll bring you back and show you. All right, YouTube, what I've done is I've just gone in and taken all the lids off and stored them down in the bottom of the tray that they came in that makes that way I won't have to bend over the wicks and, and do all that and this one um, was the first one I did so we'll just we'll leave it alone we're not gonna worry about it but these other ones I'll be able to get them in and without bending wick you know and it probably doesn't matter but uh, I get a little OCD sometimes about doing stuff and uh, that sort of bothers me so we'll uh, we'll deal with it as we go what I'm gonna do now is take my take my glue gun and then what you do is you just go in and put a little dollop of glue down here on the bottom and drop them down there in the jar. All right, YouTube, if this thing will focus on me here, uh, you can see I've got a little glue on that. You just come over here on the jar, and there we go, and just come in and stick it down there in the middle. And then we'll just leave that sticking up. So I'm gonna do these for the other 10, and we'll go back and we'll show you once we're done. All right, YouTube, West Texas Prepper back. Um, bad thing about using glue guns, you get all these little stringy glue things everywhere. I have all the, all the wicks put in my half pint, eight ounce jars, so they'll be ready. I went ahead and put in wicks in the four ounce jars. So those are the, those are the first ones I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 of the eight ounce and then I'm going to do six, just single wick of the four ounce. 
and then I'm going to see how much wax I use to do that. Like I said, the lady, um, she said she used five pounds. This, these are two five pound bags. She said she used a five pound bag, I believe, to go in and do 13 or 14 of this size. So I'm just, I'm going to see what I can do. I'll probably be able to get all this, but a lot of it depends on how far up I'm going to pour these. And I, like I said, I think what I'm going to do is just come up uh, into this area right here on the jar. That way I've got some room in there, like I said, to leave a book of matches, matches and uh, go from there. But uh, these are just uh, Kerr uh, jars that I picked up at Walmart. And I'll put uh, information down below on all the pricing and stuff on my videos where I got everything. And we'll, uh, that way you'll know later on. But that's what I've got, got done today. I'm having trouble talking today out here in the garage on a rainy Sunday afternoon. So just doing a little bit more work. And uh, we'll probably fire up the uh, Coleman gas grill. And I've got a big pot aluminum pot that I can put on that and then fill it up with water then I can put this in there and I'll probably I'll go in and uh, crimp crimp a little pour spout in one of the sides on this that way I can pour without spilling this everywhere I did go ahead and buy a funnel but part of the problem with putting a funnel on these is uh, using the stick but I think this was a dollar so even if I don't use it, I can use it for canning a little bit later on. But I think once I get the sticks on there and have those out of the way, when I go in and pour that using the can, I think we'll be okay. Um, you know, we can always we can always play around with it and see. So that's what I've got accomplished on the emergency candles. Hope this information is useful to you. And um, hey, if West Texas Prepper can do some of this stuff, I know you guys can too. I'm not the most craftsy person I have some have some good skills this is the first time I've ever gotten into candle making uh, but I think uh, from what I've seen so far it's going to be okay um, you know getting the prep work done just trying to get all this stuff prepped um, I still need to go in and drill drill holes in my sticks I've only got one one done I was just playing around so we'll get those get those drilled and do that but that's uh, what West Texas Prepper is working on today on a Sunday I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Please uh, give me a thumbs up, like the video, and uh, thanks for watching. This is West Texas Prepper. We'll catch you later. Do what you can with what you have, where you're at.